what's it all about? Do you really want to know? Do you want to give or just do you want it to get and go? Cause you gotta let it out If you want to let it in You gotta give a little love to Make it all begin It's a bad time to make a right time to make a change Tips all sorts. You think what well, life would be a little tired if we have the same thoughts? Cause you're taking all the good and you leave me with the bad. You don't make a change pretty soon and nothing's coming back. If it's a bad time, we make a right time to make a change. If it's a bad time, to make a right time to make a change. I do believe you read the verse. How's it going folks? This is Wayne all back for another lesson and a bit of Britpop nostalgia today, uh, Cast and Fine Time. What a song, you know, I, I, I always really admired Cast, I thought they were a great band who probably didn't deserve the fame that they deserved at the time because obviously Oasis sort of back in the day overshadowed everything and everyone was sort of hanging on Oasis tail strings and everything. Not as, you know, I'm a huge Oasis fan, anyone that is uh, subscribed to my channel, there's tons and tons of Oasis songs on there, probably more than any other song. But I've always had a soft spot for this song, I just think it's a real feel-good song. And it's not too hard to play, um, there's one bar chord in, so without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, uh, I've actually tuned down a semitone, I've been sort of, you know, scouring through YouTube and looking at the way that John plays this and I found a, a good acoustic version and I know he definitely tunes down the semitone so the E would now be a E flat or a, or a D sharp and an A, A flat or a G sharp, you know, etc. Now a good way of doing that obviously, obviously you can do it with a tuner or if you get a capo and put it on the first fret and tune up as if you were in standard tuning you'd then take the capo off and everything will be down a semitone so that's how, if we play a G, that's how it should sound. Okay, now the first chord is a G, and the way that I play the G, I play it with my last three fingers because I'm play, sort of playing it as close to how John plays this when he plays it acoustically. Okay, so the third finger will be on the second fret on the A string, sorry, second finger, second fret on the A string, third finger, finger will be the third fret on the bottom E string, and the little finger will be the third fret on the top E string, okay? And the verse is this, uh, so the chords need to be down, down, up, down, and sort of stops, you know. So that's down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, and then a stop, obviously. Okay, so we do a G twice, we go to a C. Now the C that I'm doing has actually got a G bass in it, okay? So if you take a regular C chord, you'd move your third finger up one string to the third fret on the E string, and the little finger will be on the third fret on the A string. It gives us this nice fat sounding C, okay? Then we go to an F major 7 with a C bass, basically you're moving your second, third and fourth finger down one string each, and that will give you an F major 7 with a, with a C bass in, okay? So this is what we've got, we've got the G, C, F, back to C, and then a G. So what's it all about? Do you really want to know? Do you want to give a just you want to let it all go? Okay, so that's pretty much your verse, okay? So G, C, F, C, back to G. Okay, so the next bit will be, this is quite a quick change. Okay, so that bit will be a D, D major. 
We're going to an F major bar chord and then we're going to a G. See? So that's more of a strumming pattern involved with that. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. If it's a bad time, make the right time, make a change. So down on the D, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 down. Okay, so let me go back into the verse. This is the second part of the verse. Same chords, so G, C, F, C, back to the G. Okay, so then we've got the, the D, the F and the G again. Okay, so now we've got this little bridge bit, so, uh, so that's a D to a G. So down. So that bit will be. I do believe you wrote the words. So now we've got a G, A, D, G, G, A. And then a D, F, really quick change this, D, F, G, D, F. Okay, so that takes us up to the lead guitar break, so that will be a G. Now I, you can even still play with, you know, that, that G, or I tend to switch between that G and the four finger G. So for the, for the chorus, to make it sound a little bit uh, fuller, sorry, the, the guitar solo, I tend to do the, the four finger G. So you go, we go to an F, C, then back to a G. Finish on your D, F, G. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that. Like I say, a great, great tune. You know, I, I absolutely love Cast. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everyone who subscribed. I really, really do appreciate it. You know, please spread the word. Word of mouth is a very powerful thing. If you do enjoy my videos, you know, please tell your friends and your work colleagues or whatever. Uh, we're getting there slowly. I'm slowly building up the subscribers now, and I don't re I don't do this for money, so I just do it for fun. So if anyone has got any requests, please uh, go over and like my Facebook page, which is Wayne R Guitar, and you could post message me personally. Only this is a nice message, mind. Uh, I'm getting through one or two requests at the moment. Uh, loads of people requested songs, so if yours hasn't come up yet, you know, please bear with me because maybe it will come up later this year. So until next time, take care and I'll catch you for another lesson very soon.